hi and welcome back today on my channel we're going to be talking about 10 things you don't want to say to a cosplayer so in the cosplay community there's a lot of things that are just a little bit weird a little icky to talk about and unfortunately i've heard most of these things this is a big trend to talk about right now on instagram and tiktok so I figured I'd put it in a long format video just so that y'all know what not to say to me or any other cosplayers because it's a little bit silly in my opinion and some of these should be given but I'd rather say it now so that you know and I have told you and now we can laugh about the silly people that still do it. But to start off, I really, really think that this is the most important one of them all is comparing people saying that blank look better or worse as this character than you do, or just comparing two people's versions of a cosplay in general. I think it is completely unnecessary unless you are judging a competitive contest. You do not need to be saying those kind of things. You can definitely like compare in a positive light, like, oh, I really like how this cosplayer used the shield as like this kind of an item, or I really like the way they were inspired by this hair. It is okay to like not love somebody's cosplay like 100 percent, that is okay but you do not need to be comparing people especially in like such a negative light to where it's gonna hurt like i don't know i've seen it too many times to where people are like oh my god i like your harley better than this harley and i'm like first of all these are two different versions of the character they do not compare chill out like thanks but no thanks you know just very odd energy in my opinion to be doing that Again, if you are literally judging a competition, that is totally different. But most of the time, that is not the setting in which these comments happen. Number two. <sighs> this one is extremely annoying as well. It is saying that blank doesn't know the source material, quizzing the person on them, or just being rude about the fine details of a character's lore. I think that for anyone cosplaying, it is okay to cosplay any character you want. You do not have to know the backstory. You do not have to know the source material in depth. It is just so silly to think that. I've known people that cosplay a character just to be a part of a group. I've known people that cosplay a character just because they like the hairstyle or the makeup or a singular version of the character's design. And that is okay. You don't have to know everything about your character. I get tons of these comments trying to quiz me on characters lore, trying to say that I don't know much about the source material, and it's just really silly because like first of all, you don't know this person, you don't know if they actually like enjoy the media, and it's just weird to almost have like this weird gatekeeping kind of mentality about a character because it's there to be loved and presented in a positive light, not to be like trivia nighted over you know it's just so silly the third thing is the person only buys their cosplay as y'all know i do not make most of my cosplays that is just not something that i have time for resources for or energy for and that is totally okay you are still a cosplayer if you buy your cosplays you are literally just costume playing that is the entire entire mentality of cosplay so I think it is super silly and super weird to be upset that somebody has purchased a cosplay, commissioned other people, and or just not really put their own twist on a character. And that's totally okay. I do that. Other people do that. Jessica Negri has done that for heaven's sake. Like, it's just so silly to get nitpicky about that. It is different if you are competing with a bot cosplay. But again, that doesn't really matter because some cosplay competitions don't look at that. So it is just completely unnecessary to make those kind of comments, in my opinion. We are on to number four, and it is, they didn't even try. This kind of is the same thing of they only buy their cosplays, but this is an even more extreme insult, in my opinion, because somebody can do casual versions of cosplay. Somebody can just throw on pieces of it and be comfortable. It is super silly to feel that your negative opinion matters to the person's cosplay because in your eyes they didn't even try it's just super weird i don't understand that 
I don't think that this is said often, but I have definitely heard it, which is so weird to say. Again, you don't know who this person is. You don't know what their time was, their budget, and you definitely don't even have the guts to ask. So it's a little bit weird. I don't love that kind of energy. And now on to number five. This one should be common sense, but unfortunately, it's not. So for this one, it is they don't have the correct body type, skin tone, hair tone, or just overall same body form as the character. Now, this is just bad. You don't want to be doing this. It is so insulting, so rude to say that somebody doesn't physically look like their character because most of these characters are super unrealistic. It's completely impossible to look exactly like Sailor Moon with that skinny little waist and the big ol' anime eyes. Like, it's super duper silly to say skin tone doesn't matter when you cosplay, body type doesn't matter when you cosplay. It shouldn't be a big deal because the whole point, again, is to be loving the character and representing that you enjoy the fandom or enjoy the look, you know? Like, I don't get it. It's super silly. On to number six. I could do it better or I could never. Now this one is weird because again, it adds into that competitiveness of cosplay that I don't really understand. But saying that you could one up another person is just super unnecessary. You can definitely take that as a personal goal for yourself, but there is no need to be putting somebody else down or trying to show them up in a public setting. Now, I've seen this firsthand and it makes me super uncomfortable. I know it makes other people super uncomfortable and it's just really weird to be saying that kind of stuff along with the phrase, I could never, just because something is a little bit more revealing on somebody else just because somebody has done a different version of a character. It's just a little silly to say, like everyone's allowed to express their body and express their characters the way that they want. So having a better twist on that would maybe be like, they have such confidence to be able to wear that instead of, mm, I can never, like girl, that's okay. You don't have to, <laughs> you know, it's okay. You don't have to wear what these people are wearing. Do your own version. On my number seven thing, it is buying followers, views, or anything else related to social media interaction. I have personally been accused of this, and it is super silly because if y'all didn't know, cosplayers are broke. <laughs> All of our money is going into the cosplay or into the creation in general, so it is super silly to accuse somebody that is spending so much money on a character that they have bought interaction followers or just any social media traction because that is not a priority for most cosplayers. Like, yeah, it's cool for my posts to do well, to get traction, but I'm not going to spend money on buying followers when I could buy a wig. And I don't know, it's just super elitist kind of thinking that somebody can only succeed if they are buying the interaction. I don't know. Super icky. I don't understand. But like, also, if this is something you're suspect of, just ask them, you know? It's not your account let them live. It's just super, super weird to be throwing that accusation around, especially if you have no evidence. Sometimes algorithms favor certain types of media, certain types of format of content, hashtags. It's just completely random sometimes. So just saying that with no evidence is super duper weird and I don't get it. The number eight thing not to say to a cosplayer is going to be they're just an e-girl or they do it for clout. I personally have heard this firsthand about myself as well. I know all of these are a little personal, but it's just super weird to assume that somebody is doing this passion, this hobby that costs so much money just to be able to get attention, which also that's not a bad thing. Attention is great. Getting feedback and interaction on your media is super duper awesome and motivating for creators of all different genres, artists, like celebrities, cosplayers, influencers, all of it. The interaction really, really helps them enjoy it more. It helps it be more worth it to see eyes on it. So assuming that somebody does it for clout is just a little bit weird because yes, it is nice to be recognized, but it is not necessary to be recognized in the community. And 
yes, it would be cool if these kind of jobs were more readily available and more amazingly like payout wise, but it is very, very rare that somebody is just an e-girl to get clown off of cosplay. For the most part, it is an expensive hobby that requires a lot of time and dedication. So it just doesn't really add up to me to be accusing that without knowing that firsthand. And then number nine and number 10 kind of go hand in hand. It is, this person didn't make time for me to take a photo. Now, this has happened to many, many creators at many, many different settings. And the overall consensus is that they come off as rude or entitled because this person isn't taking photos or making content with people at the request, which in my opinion, everyone is human. Everyone has bad days. If they didn't want to take a photo, you need to respect that. If they didn't want to do collab, you need to respect that because they could be just having a rough time. They could be going through a lot physically, mentally, emotionally, financially. And it's just super silly to judge a person based off of one short interaction of refusing an optional service, like a photo, video, or interaction like that. Unless you are paying for a photo op with this person, it is not 100% required to get a photo. And it's a little bit weird to assume that this person is going to make time specifically for your interaction when they are a human with their own storyline. It's just super silly. And then leaning into that one, my number 10 biggest thing you should never say to a cosplayer is, why won't you reply? So the social media realm is so vast and so expansive and so overwhelming. I probably have eight to nine different platforms that I'm constantly on every single day, checking DMs, checking interaction, and just doing that as a full-time job. As y'all know, this does not pay my bills. It would be cool if it does, but it doesn't. So I'm not really required to be checking DMs on a daily and replying to every single DM that I get. It is so exhausting to keep up with it all. And yes, I absolutely love, love, love talking to people over social media and in person about cosplays and passions, but it is nearly impossible to keep up with every single one, which really sucks because most of us are solo teams just trying to have a good time with this awesome hobby, but it would be nice if people were a little bit more understanding because it is so overwhelming and it requires so much attention. An Instagram DM, is not gonna be my first priority because there's so many other platforms. I stick with Reddit, Imager, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. I used to be on Twitter, on all of these different platforms. It is just so exhausting. So being a little bit understanding and taking time to really put yourself in the shoes of people that are trying to keep up with DMs, especially when the DMs are also like business interactions. <sighs> It's just a lot. But yeah, I hope that gave you a little bit of insight into the cosplay life, the cosplay realm. I know this was a little bit of a ranty video, but you know, I figured it would help. And I hope y'all enjoyed my big ol' rant here. And yeah, I know some of these are very, very specific to me for things not to say to a cosplayer, but I feel like it can apply to almost every influencer media, like TikTokers, Twitter users, streamers, YouTubers, just content creators in general, all kind of be dealing with this kind of stuff on a regular basis. So I hope that you understand and this gives you a little bit more insight onto the reality of cosplaying and influencing. But yeah, that is it for me. I am also gonna be making a 10 things to say to cosplayers that cosplayers love to hear. So stick around for that positive video and I'll see y'all next time. Bye. I just want to give a big shout out to all my patrons, especially those in the start tier, Louis, John, and Mondo. Thank y'all so much. Bye.